guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here so before i even say anything about this build i definitely have to address the fact that it's been almost five months since i've made a video i had so much going on in july and august and it's also my senior year of college which is absurd but you guys know i like to focus on my studies and social life and all of that during the school year so as much as i say i'll try to make videos and stuff i never actually do so we should all know that by now i'm going back to school in like a week and i kind of forgot that i was on break and it's normally my time to record again so that's my bad but i've seen a lot of crazy updates on blocksburg since i've been gone like there's so many things that i've been hoping for that so that was exciting i did a little bit of exploring before i started recording this and specifically that whole like transform rotate tool thing that's actually crazy i don't even think i actually used it in this build yet i think i'm it's probably gonna take some getting used to but i'll probably take a stab at it when i build the custom furniture and things for this house if you guys have any tips for that tool let me know so yeah speaking of this house i cut up the speed build like i've done in recent videos to show the main parts of the building process and get rid of repeats and mistakes so hopefully overall it's easier to follow um if you choose to rebuild this or copy a certain part or whatever but the original concept of this build was actually to make my dream dollhouse so i wanted the exterior to look kind of like a dollhouse um so like this victorian style and really just decorate and furnish it as if it were my dream dollhouse when i was a kid inside isn't going to be super traditional victorian or anything it'll definitely be mixed with my current style but i want to try and make things super detailed and custom but that will be in the next video i also made a new tiktok account i'm gonna link it in the description but i want to try and make blocksburg tiktoks never done that before but like but i know a lot of you guys watch it so i'm gonna try i don't know how long it'll last if i'm even gonna do it right but we're gonna give it a shot so if you have a tiktok please follow that account so when i post the first one i'm not the only one who's gonna watch it and if you have any ideas please let me know my first ones are probably gonna be over this build so you may even get to see some sneak peeks before i post the final video on here so yeah there's already less than like three minutes left of the speed build right now i am just working on the roof um, um, this part I say in the end of this video, but I don't know how I feel about this whole thing I just wanted to have like a wall not a wall trim a trim around the roof And I didn't really know how else to do it outside of using these garlands But I think I'm gonna try and take a stab at like custom decals or something Again, I'm pretty sure I say all this in the end of the video. I already did the tour. I'm just talking over this now. Similar to my last Pinterest build, I'm doing these like custom paneling sort of things. I really like the way that it looks with the shadows and everything when the sun's up. I also started um, doing some landscaping, but honestly, I kind of always get bored with landscaping it's something i need to work on um so yeah i just moved to the inside i'm not doing any of the decorations or anything i just kind of put the base up for me so here i'm making custom stairs which i'm not totally sure how i feel about them but i felt like my this bottom part of my house was kind of a little bit small i mean it's not small but like if, in terms of thinking of really big stairs i couldn't find a place for them so i wanted everything to be in this corner so that i could have like as many windows in the other parts of the house as possible so that the outside didn't look weird if if you know the struggle you know exactly what i'm talking about so i made custom stairs and then i thought it would be really cute to put these bookshelves down here i've always wanted like a little nook thing underneath my stairs but i've just never i don't know if i've ever made custom stairs in a build like maybe once maybe but i couldn't tell you um and then over here i decided to put this like sunken in living room thing i have a pinterest board in the description which i will talk about again in a bit during the tour but um go check that out and you'll see why i'm doing all the things that i'm doing for the most part so yeah, this build is over in like 10 seconds, so enjoy and I'll be back. Okay guys, so here we have the mostly finished exterior for this house clearly i haven't done any landscaping that's gonna have to be a later issue i am trying to figure out how to make like cooler trees that are like more realistic with the decals and stuff but i don't really know exactly 
how to do them yet without making them either super expensive or like look super weird so i will work on that and then i will get back to that in the next video probably but here we go i'm just going to show you guys what i have right off the bat there's something that probably looks very off to you and that is the, these roof thingies um as you can see i tried to do like a bunch of swirly twirly thingies like around the entire build like down here and like with the corner things i don't know what you call these but i'm not really sold on how it looks here so i'm probably gonna replace them with like decals of some sort i might replace it with like the smaller rope or something these are garlands right now yeah i don't know i also put like a bunch of these things i don't know i'm not fully sold on it right now this is what it's gonna be so as you can see my exterior of the house is actually not completely finished i still have to carry on these like little um horizontal thingies around and i have to finish up the windows and this door needs a little balcony right there um no that's not what i meant i need the fence <laughs> fence railing jeez um but yeah so as of right now this is what i have going on for the outside and then going in kind of exciting you guys saw a little bit of it but i'm gonna tell you just like the general layout that i'm thinking of for here so this is clearly the entryway i am probably gonna do like a little built-in situation right here and then have a little seat um i think i think yeah and then i'm probably gonna have just a regular seating area with like two pretty chairs or something gonna be custom made i'm gonna try to do a bunch of custom stuff in this build because it's really fun and i don't know it's way more interesting than just using the pre-built chairs so we're gonna try that right here is the door to the backyard funny enough i know it's right next to the front door but it was just the only place um i already showed you guys but there's literally nothing back here so we will work on that and then right here i'm thinking i'm gonna do the dining table i don't know why i turned into this camera where's my where's my person i don't know whatever um so i'm gonna put the dining table right here i think and then over here this is kind of like an awkward space but i'm gonna make it the kitchen i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna like wrap around the counters and stuff yeah that'll be a later issue and then down here i wanted to make a sunken in living room so i did this by the way i have a whole pinterest board that i made for this build kind of with my inspiration so you'll see in one of the pins where i kind of got like this design idea it's linked in the description like always my pinterest is always down there i have a whole board just for youtube stuff hundreds and thousands of pins on there so go check that out but yeah, so this is going to be the living room, obviously. I'm going to probably do some built-in situations around here. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea exactly what I'm going to do here because this is kind of a big space. Like, I don't know where to put the TV. And then down here, I really love this. I wanted to make a custom staircase for this build because none of the staircase options quite fit my house without like jutting out too much or taking up too much room so this is completely custom and i wanted to make it so this is kind of like a library and then down here is a sitting area i also need the railings so this is very unsafe right as of right now we have two bedrooms in this build so this is the first one this is just the regular sized bedroom and then it also has its own bathroom in here pretty big size and then going through the other door we have a slightly bigger bedroom these do not have all the windows yet um and these ones are off center i can tell um and then over here we have a archway that's going to lead into the master bathroom i do want to go ahead and make like some sort of cool doors that will always be open at least on one side but i want to have them like glass i don't know i think it's kind of cool when the bathroom has glass it's really not realistic but i think it would be cool and then i'm probably gonna put like the bathtub in this bay area and then yeah i don't know i have a whole bunch of ideas i'm gonna keep looking on pinterest pin a whole bunch of more things i think there's only like 20 things on there so yeah this is what i have going on i think it's a really good base in my opinion i don't know um i do need to work on like i said the swirly twirly things on the outside and definitely finish up but yeah that's what i have 
thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, I think I might be finishing the entire build. Or at least we'll finish the inside and then maybe in another video we will do the exterior. But this honestly took me all day. It's currently 10.30 p.m. I think I started at like 11 a.m. So <laughs> thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.